more on HTML5. We have learnt basics of HTML5 in our previous session. Click the link given in the description box to watch the introduction of HTML. In this session, we will learn about making web page more attractive, creating sections on the web page, and creating different types of list on a web page. Tags and attributes. The instructions in HTML are known as tags. Each tag gives a specific instruction and is enclosed within angle brackets. There are two types of tags. Container tag and empty tag. Let's see the difference. They are used in pairs. They are not used in pairs. They have a starting tag, on tag, and ending tag, off tag. They have only starting tag, on tag. Example, to underline your text, you use, will open tag on dual close tag. Example, to insert a line break, use br tag. Now let us learn about attributes. Attributes are keywords that impart extra functionality to the tabs. They are placed inside the element's opening tag and provide additional information about the element. Tags are not case sensitive. This means that small b is same as capital B. But, correct way is to put them in lower case. Attributes of tags should also be types in lower case. If the value assigned to an attribute is in the form of a text string, it should be enclosed within double quotes. Example, font color equals green. If the value assigned to an attribute is in the form of a number, you need not enclose it within double quotes. Example, font size equals 6. More about tags and attributes. The body tag is used to contain a web page's content, including hyperlinks, images, tables, text, etc. It contains information related to attributes and browser compatibility. It is used to specify formatting feature for the entire HTML document. BG color is used to give attractive colors to the background of your web page. Syntax body bg color equals color name example body bg color equals pink text is used to give color to the body text this attribute will color all the text in the html page in one color syntax body text equals color name example body text equals green Background is used to put a picture in the background of a web page. Syntax Body background equals path of the image file to be set as background. Heading tags This tag in HTML is used to specify headings and subheadings of our web page. HN is a container tag. You can have six levels of heading starting from H1. To h6. h1 is the largest heading while h6 is the smallest heading. Look at the example of heading tags. If you want to align the text to the center or right, use the align attribute. In our previous program, let us remove h6. This is heading 6. And add h6 align equals center. This is heading 6. And close h6 tag. See the output.
The HTML font tag defines the font size, color of the text, and the face of the text in the HTML document. This tag is also commonly referred to as the font element. Let us use the font tag with different attributes. Face is used to specify the font type for the text. Syntax Font face equals font type. Example Font face equals Comic Sans MS. Color is used to specify the font color for the text. Syntax Font face equals font type. Color equals font color. Example Font face equals Comic Sans MS. Color equals red. Size is used to specify the font size for the text. The font size is specified in numbers ranging from 1 to 7. 1 is the smallest font size and 7 is the largest. To create paragraphs in an HTML document, we use the on tag p to mark the beginning of the paragraph and the off slash p tag to mark the end of the paragraph. Syntax p text slash p the align attribute of the paragraph tag allows you to align a paragraph in three different ways on the web page. P align equals left aligns the paragraph to the left of the web page. P align equals right aligns the paragraph to the right of the web page. P align equals center aligns the paragraph to the center of the web page. If you want to draw a horizontal line on the web page to highlight a certain item or separate two sections of a web page, use horizontal rule tag HR. It has attributes that allow us to define the size, width, alignment, and shading for the horizontal line that we want to insert. Syntax HR size equals N, where N defines the thickness of the horizontal line. Size allows you to define the thickness of the horizontal line in pixels. Syntax HR size equals N. Example HR size equals 6. Width allows you to define the length of the horizontal line as a percentage with respect to the entire screen. Example HR size equals 6. Width equals 80%. Align allows us to align the horizontal line to the left, right, or center. Example, HR size equals 6. Width equals 80%. Align equals center. Color allows us to give a color to the horizontal line. Example, HR size equals 6. Width equals 80%. Align equals center. Color equals red. A list is an organized series of data items written in a sequence. You can set the content of the web pages in the form of list by creating ordered list, unordered list, and description list. An ordered list contains items in a numbered manner. It is defined using OL tag. The OL tag is a container tag. Ordered list begins with OL and ends with OL tag. Every item in the list is represented by a LI tag, which stands for list item. The basic tag is written in the form LI and LI. And the list item is inserted between the opening and closing tags. Type specifies the type of number list to be used with ordered list. Different number format which can be used are 1. Defines the items with numbers. A. Defines the items with uppercase. A. Defines the items with lowercase. I. Defines the items with uppercase Roman numbers. I. Defines the items with lowercase Roman numbers. Syntax. Old type equals numbering style. 
start to define the starting number for the type attribute. Syntax OL type equals numbering style. Start equals starting number of list. An unordered list is used to show the items without any order. That is, in the form of bullets or other symbols. It is used to list the contents in such a way that it looks more organized. An ordered list is defined using UL tag and is a container tag. Example Type specifies the type symbol to be used in an unordered list for the item. Symbols which can be used are Circle Defines a hollow bullet Square Defines a solid square bullet Disc Defines a solid round bullet Syntax UL type equals style of bullet Example The description list is used to give description, along with the item name. It is defined using the DL tag. Description list starts with DL tag and ends with DL. Description list consists of two parts. First is DT tag, which defines the item name. And second is DD tag, which defines the description of the item. Observe the example for description list.